I just want to give a big thank you to the newest members on the channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're interested in becoming a member of the channel, click the join button below my videos. If you're an iOS user, click the link in the info box and you'll be able to sign up from there. Hey guys, this is Evie. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I did this beautiful breast cancer awareness inspired design. So this month I'm teaming up with Madam Glam and their Join Pink campaign. A dollar from each item sold on their Join Pink page on the website will be donated to the Breast Cancer Alliance and they do breast cancer research. I am super honored to be a part of this campaign. So if you want some beautiful gel polishes at a discount because all of the polishes on the Join Pink page are $10, go ahead and check out Madam Glam. I will leave links down below to all of the items that I used. All right, so here are my bare nails and I just want to show a little bit of how I prep my nails because a lot of people have been asking questions even though I have a beginner friendly series. But anyways, I take this cuticle pusher and I go ahead and, gen and gently push back my cuticles while also use the other end of the cuticle pusher to kind of scrape away any of the dried skin away from the nail plate. Next, taking this cuticle clean drill bit, I go ahead and apply this to my e-file and I work this around the cuticle areas of all of my nails. And as you can see, even though you think you don't have any of this crusty skin on your nail plate, this cuticle clean bit will show you the truth, okay? <laughs> so I picked this up from Todak USA. I will leave the link down below. All right, so this is after all of the prep with the e-file and now I take my hand file. I like to use a 100 slash 180 grit nail file and taking the 180 grit side, which is the softer grit side, I just lightly etch my natural nails. A lot of people ask me about how do I keep my nails so healthy and stuff. And this is why it does not take a lot of aggression with the nail file in order for your nails to stay on. You just need to lightly etch them. So then I wipe them down with acetone just to get rid of the dust and any excess oils that may be on my nails. So I will be applying Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic and I'm just gonna sculpt these using these long pink nail forms. Um, I picked these nail forms up from Amazon so be sure to check the links in the info box. All right, so after applying the nail forms, I'm going in with this Gelish pH Bond, and this is a nail dehydrator and nail prep. And then I apply the Harmony Pro Bond, and this is an acid-free primer. So this nail is just going to be plain, so the whole nail is gonna be formed using the clear acrylic.
Moving on to the ring fingernail, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of clear acrylic. This nail is going to be a glitter ombre, so yeah, I just start off with a thin layer of clear first. All right, so next I'm going in with this beautiful icy pink glitter and this is available on my website. I will leave the links down below. And I'm just going to apply that um, kind of in a slant fashion. It, it was supposed to be a slant, but it kind of really didn't come out like that. But <laughs> I still like the way um, it came out. I love this glitter. Um, it is so shimmery and it's just simply gorgeous. So after I have the glitter placed the way that I like, I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate this nail with clear acrylic. All right, so this is after all of the acrylic is laid and dried and I've taken off my nail forms. So now I'm going to do my shaping and filing. All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm going to go in with this pink gel polish and this color is Barbie Girl. And as you can see, this is a really Barbie pink, like it is in your face. So I'm just going to dab a little bit on my work towel here and I'm taking this nail art brush and I'm just going to create the stripes. I try to get the lines as perfect as I can, but I will be going in after I have everything placed the way that I like to go ahead and clean up the edges. All right, so taking my alpha gel brush, I'm just going to lightly clean up the areas and try to make these lines as crisp as possible. Um, so I started cleaning up this one and I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna wipe this one off. I didn't like the way it was around the cuticle area, so yeah. <laughs> so I went ahead and cured that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm going in with a second coat um, just to intensify the pink color. So after carrying that, I'm going in with the Madame Glam Perfect White Gel Polish and I'm going to apply that to my middle fingernail.
And before carrying, I go in with the cleanup brush. So I went ahead and cured that and then I applied a second coat and cured that as well. All right, so now I'm going in with the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And I'm just going to apply this to all of the nails. And before I care, I'm going to apply some iridescent crystals. And these iridescent crystals are available on my website, longcareprettynails.com. I will leave the link down below. So after carrying that, I'm going in with this Mia Secret Ice Cream Acrylic. And this is a beautiful pink color. So I'm going to be forming the 3D Breast Cancer Awareness Ribbon. Um, so I just start off with a large bead of clear and I'm just creating a long strip um, trying to you know have it as crisp as possible <laughs> but I just use my brush to go ahead and work that in place the way that I need it And before it sets, but you know, while it's still kind of pliable, I go ahead and use my brush to create the ribbon and you know, fold it into place. So I didn't like how thick this ribbon was so I went ahead and did it again just a little thinner using a smaller amount of acrylic to make a very thin strip this time. And before the acrylic sets but it's still pliable I just use my brush like I did before to create the fold in the ribbon. And as you can see, this ribbon is much better. <laughs> so yeah, even, you know, I practice too. So if something comes out the way that I don't like it, just go ahead and do it again. You know, practice makes perfect or practice definitely makes better. <laughs> So as you can see, this ribbon is way too thick. So yeah, I'm glad I went ahead and did it again. So after the ribbon has completely hardened, I just go in with my hand file and crisp it up the edges and just make everything even. And then I take a small bead of clear acrylic and I just place that on my nail and then I smush the ribbon into the clear and that is what's holding that in place. So for my ring fingernail, I wanted to add some bling. So I'm going in with a combination of the Poochie Snails Bling Gel and the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. Yes, the bling gel is back, y'all. I know she probably been getting some questions about it. Uh, well, she told me she was getting a lot of questions about it. But yes, she did bring the bling gel back and it is, you know, it looks a little different, but it's still the same quality and it is super thick. So I go in with a layer of the bling gel first and then without caring I apply the Poochie's Nails top coat over it and then I apply my iridescent crystals. So the crystals I'm using are the Fire Iridescent and the Opal Crystals. All these colors are available on my website, links will be down below. So after getting the crystal placement the way that I like, I went ahead and cured that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. Alright, so after curing, I'm applying my cuticle oil. 
And this is the finished look. I really, really love how this nail design turned out. It is so pretty and I just love the ribbon. So if you wanna have some cute nails while also donating to a wonderful cause, go ahead and check out Madam Glam. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you in my next one.